As the global vaccination campaign picks up speed, global trade will bounce back through 2021 and 2022. But in the world after COVID-19, companies will be looking for a multifaceted resilience strategy and increasing demand for protection. For our global supply chain survey, we asked 1,200 companies in the US, the UK, France, Germany, and Italy about how they plan to make the supply chains more resilient after the COVID-19 crisis, including whether they will consider relocating suppliers or even reshoring production. In each country, respondents have different concerns. In the US, they are more concerned about the quality of supplies back home as well as cost issues. While in the UK and Italy, initial investment costs are seen as the main challenge. In France, labor availability and skills are a bigger worry, while German companies seem to be more concerned about labor costs. These results suggest that governments have a role to play in boosting domestic supply chain resilience, but there is no miracle drug. When we asked companies what policy measures could help, they voted for everything from tax incentives to help bring some production back home, to measures to upscale the domestic labor force, to access to information and supply chain and risk management. And once again, there are key differences between countries. Post-Brexit, free trade agreements are a top priority for companies in the UK, while in France, the focus seems to be on labor market flexibility and research and development investment to assert the country's place in the global value chains. 